Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That's everything. I'm going to donate these to the nursery school. Wait, this is my ninth favorite teddy bear. I need to keep him. But you never play with it. And I love this shaky thing. We can't give it away. Or this plastic orange. Or this puppet. Or this stick. Or, or this, this giraffe. giraffe. <sighs> How about we make up a story about this giraffe, huh? All right. And what should we call it? The giraffe who kept everything. Ha, ha, ha. Once upon a time, there was a giraffe who never threw anything away. Like... His old socks. Ooh, I really should wash these. And all his old toothbrushes. Oh, the memories of, uh, brushing teeth? And even all his leftover pizza boxes. You never know when you might need a flat square box. Then one day, he got the job of his dreams. Yes! I'm going to the big city to be a big pilot and fly the big planes. Time to pack and move. I guess I'm going to need some movers with a big truck. A really big truck. We'll pack his things in no time. Go, go Katie, 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 let's go! The Mighty Movers at your service. Hi, guys. Here, you can start with this box. Uh, uh, what's inside? Uh, rocks? No, not rocks. Pebbles. All the lovely pebbles I ever found. Three pianos? I might learn one day. The packing went on and on and on. And on and on. And on and on. Whew. That's everything from the house. Yep. The rest is in the garage. Oh. Oh. And so later, a lot later, the packing was done and they drove to the city, to Giraffe's new home. Um, I don't think we're gonna fit all your stuff in there. Yeah, it might be a little tight. Oh no, there's no room left for me inside there. And that's barely half your stuff. Oh, what am I going to do? You need to get rid of some of this. Oh, but, oh, I suppose I could get rid of this thimble and this pebble. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? No! But how do I even start? What can I do with all of this? You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. These things you need to throw away. These things can be recycled. And these things will make other folks happy. Pebbles? Oh, yeah! I could use these in my new dam. Thanks! Ace, I can add these to my pizza box collection. They don't even make this model anymore. And soon Giraffe had a lot less stuff and enough room to live. I feel like a new giraffe. I feel lighter than air. Giraffe felt better knowing his stuff wasn't clutter anymore, but being enjoyed by others. Thanks, you guys. Great story, Mom. Yeah, you're right. We should give all of this to the nursery school. We don't play with it anymore. And it'll make someone very happy. Oh, but maybe we'll keep the giraffe. Oh, and we can't give that away. You wore it when you were babies. Oh, and Mom! Mom!
Me, of course. I'm the biggest. No fair. Anyway, there'll be no cake for anyone unless you finish all your vegetables. No, I don't I want, want to, cake. Grandpa. I'm sorry, kittens. I can't hear you. We I don't want cake. like them. Not so loud. What is this, a shouting match? Say, if you eat your vegetables, I'll tell you a story about the loudest place there ever was. The Noisy Festival. Yeah. yeah! It's a story I call Noise for Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a hippo named Big O. I won. Again. And the thing she liked most was winning. And winning was easy, because she was playing alone. Be the first to knock down the pots and win a prize. I won. It's hardly fair to call it winning when you're not playing against anyone. We can play against Big O. Yeah, then it'll be a fair contest. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Go, go, kitty kitties, let's go. Mister, we, we want to play, play too. Then step right up. Oh, no. Oh, it's too high for us. Oh, yes. Then here you go. Some boxes to stand on. Hey, no fair. Shouldn't everyone be able to play, no matter how tall they are? Ready? Go! Yay! Well done. Here's your prize. I told you it wasn't fair. He won. Step right up. Toss the tuba. Land on a peg and win a prize. We'll play, mister. Me too. OK, then. Pick up your tubas. I can't. It's too heavy. Then you can toss this trombone instead. No fair. But I'm too small for the trombone, too. Then you can toss a trumpet. Hey! No, no fair. fair! Why not? We still have to get it on the peg, don't we? Ready, set, toss! I won! See? No, no fair. fair! That does it. I'm going to the racket race. Step right up for the racket race, the clangiest contest of all. This will be fun. If I can find the finish line. You two kittens, come here. You've got shorter legs, so you can start farther forward. That's not fair. Yes, it is. You have longer legs. Little girl, you can start up here, ahead of your brother. Huh? No fair. Yes, it is, Kit. My legs are shorter than yours. <laughs> On your mark. Wait, wait. I want to race, too. No problem, little mouse. You're very small, so you can start all the way up here. Hey, no fair. Did I miss something? On your marks, get set, go. No need to shout. Everybody wins two scoops of ice cream. Squeak Berry Crunch. Mm, thanks. thanks. I'm glad we all had the same chance to win. Would you like one of my scoops? Really? It's only fair. You're a lot bigger than me, so you should get more. Thanks. Good idea. Now everything's fair for everyone. Great story, Grandpa. You were right. The biggest person does deserve to eat more. I'm glad you learned what's fair. So you should have the rest of our veggies. And no cake until you finish. Hey, no fair! <laughs> go! 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 Where will we go? Nice fort you built there, kittens. 
Flippy build it. Hi, honey. Mm hmm. No problem. See you soon. What did mom want? She wants me to make dinner, so I'll order pizza. Yay! Done. Let's make up a story until mom gets home. What about? About Flippy. And what should we call the story? Good idea, Flippy. We'll call it Beep, Beep, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a robot named Flippy! With his stretchy arms and tools, Flippy could be very handy. One day, Flippy saw a commercial on TV about Beaver Bob. Do you like to build? Are you handy with tools? Then Beaver Bob wants you on Beaver Bob's Building Brigade! Yes, you! I want to build, too! Yeah! I'm sure Beaver Bob would love to have us in his building brigade. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, Bob. We heard you're looking for builders. I sure am. Then we're your kitties. Great. I want you two to work with Flippy here as a team. What do we do first? Hang this swing nice and low so little kids can get on it. Let's do, do it. it. Here are your tools. Hold them, Flippy. I said hold it! Oh, ow, ooh, I, ooh, <laughs> ow. Make sure to hang it nice and low, Flippy, like Bob said. Hmm, that swing is way too high. I told you to hang it low. We told him to hang it low. Okay, we'll fix the swing later. For now, let's try moving on to your next job. I need you to attach the slide over here and build a ladder back there so kids can climb up to the platform. Go, go, go! Now, Flippy, make it tall so it reaches all the way up to the platform. Tall. Understand? Great. We'll go attach the slide. Slide's in place, just like I told you. Now let's take a look at the ladder. That's one fine ladder for a dollhouse, but it's too small for the slide. We told Flippy to make a tall ladder. Can't we just work without Flippy? No, you're a team. You need to figure out how to communicate with each other. I'll give you one more chance. Fill up the sandbox. Kate, maybe we should speak slower? Flippy, stand up. Tall. Okay, stay right there. He does the opposite every time. Hey, wait a second. If we ask Flippy to do the opposite of what we want, maybe he'll do what we really want. Yeah, let's try it. Flippy, be very quiet. All right. To the sandbox. The sand has to be dumped inside. So we'll tell Flippy the opposite. Flippy, please dump the sand outside of the sandbox. Yes! Well done! So you figured out how to work together? Yeah, watch! Flippy, hang the swing high up, please. Just a little higher, okay? Good job, Building Brigade. Wait, I mean, bad job, Flippy. Great story, Dad. You mean lousy, right? Hi, everybody. Where's dinner? Pizza time. Works every time. If you want Dad to order pizza, just ask him to make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
Everybody ready for the beach? Yeah! But in the sun, here we come. Aw, uh, we can't go swimming when there's lightning outside. No fair, Grandpa! We've been planning this forever. This was gonna be the best day. Now it's the worst. I'm sorry, kittens, but this is out of my control. I'll tell you what, maybe we could make up a special big story. About fuzzicles? Yeah, fuzzicles who got to do just what they planned. Okay, and what should we call this story? I know. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were some fuzzicles who loved to go to... The dentist. No, to concerts. And today they were planning to see their favorite singer, Fuzzy Fuzzbottom. <laughs> Just when they were about to leave, a tree fell right on the car. And they couldn't go to the concert after all. The end. No problem, Grandpa. They didn't even need the car. Right. They could just walk there. Oh. But when they got to the bridge, it collapsed for no reason. And so the Fuzzicles stayed home and ate soup. The end. No. Kate and I totally got this, Grandpa. We'll take them ourselves. Yeah, in a kitty copter. A kitty copter? Yeah! yeah. Go, go, kitty kitties, let's go! Come on, Fuzzicles. We're taking you to the concert. Nothing can stop us now. That's what they thought, because just then it started raining. Problem. The kitty copter can fly through rain. Uh-uh. It started raining cheese balls. Whoa! It's a cheese ball hurricane. Our pierogi blasters are overwhelmed. We'll have to land this thing and wait until it stops. Good thinking, Kate. Looks like that was the last cheese ball. Nope. There was still one more. Ready for that soup now? No, we got this. We'll just have to walk to the concert from here. Come on, Fuzzicles. We'll be there in no time. But then suddenly a giant scary monster stepped out of the forest and blocked their way. You'll never get past me. Don't worry, I got this. Ah, a monster! <laughs> Way to go, Kate! Let's hurry! We can still make it on time! See? I told you nothing could stop us! Are you ready? Then let's hear it for the fuzziest part of all! Fuzzy Fuzzbottom! <laughs> oh no! Fuzzy's lost his voice! <laughs> So the concert was canceled. I'm sorry, you guys, but there's nothing we can do. And after the Fuzzicles put on their own concert, they went home and ate a delicious dinner. Soup? With a side order of cheese balls. <laughs> Bye.
Well, a year. How long is a year? Like forever. Actually, it's 365 days. Oh, that's so long. How long now? It's still 365 days. Oh, I wish I could have a birthday every day. Yeah, me too. With a party every day. Fun. That's a great idea for a story called Every Day's a Birthday. <laughs> Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel decided to have a birthday every day. And I'm going to go first. And I'm tomorrow. Fantastic. We've got everything we need. Uh, what about guests? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we can be the guests. Yeah, but we need a present. How about this harmonica? Perfect. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Happy birthday, Hansel! Thank you. Who wants to play a game? <gasps> Pin the tail on the elephant? I love that game! <laughs> Watch and learn, Kate. I'm the best at this. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. Oops. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Hansel, happy birthday to you. Oh, hooray! <laughs> Wonderful! Have some cake! Thanks! Yummy! Mm. I could eat this every day! Time to open your present! Oh, yeah! I love birthdays. Great! Because tomorrow is my turn for a birthday. And then mine. And then mine. And so the next day, Gretel celebrated her special day. Surprise! Oh, a party? I had no idea. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gretel. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And so the next day, and the next day, and the next day, it was party time. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Thirty birthdays later. Good morning, Kit. Your turn. Again? Mm, I think the elephant has enough tails now. Let me guess. Another harmonica. Ugh. Oh no, not more cake. Yeah. Can I have something else? Like a salad? Sorry. All we have is cake. This doesn't feel special anymore. That's because special isn't special if it isn't special. So true. So true. Maybe tomorrow we can just have a normal day? Yeah. Porridge and then the park. Yay! Yay! Normal day! Why didn't we think of this 29 birthdays ago? I guess a birthday every day isn't such a great idea. Yeah, because then it won't be special. Don't worry. There are lots of other special days in the year, like Christmas. Yeah! When is that? In four months. That's like forever, too. How about now? Is it closer now? <laughs> <laughs>